Now, members of the jury, the duty of counsel in the court has been performed. The case has been argued by counsel. The court has instructed you regarding the rules of law which should govern you in your deliberations. Time has now come when the great burden of reaching a just, fair, and conscientious decision in this case to be thrown wholly upon you, the jurors selected for this important duty. You will not be swayed by sympathy, prejudice, or passion. You will be very careful and deliberate in weighing the evidence. I charge you to keep your duty steadfastly in mind as upright citizens under a just and true verdict. You are to decide only whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty of the offense. Any consequences of your verdict are matters for the court alone to decide and must not affect your deliberations. The following six forms of verdict will be submitted to you concerning the charges against the defendant, Joshua Aid. Count one, one reading, we the jury find the defendant, Joshua W. Aid, guilty of first degree intentional homicide as charged in count one of the information. A second one reading, we the jury find the defendant, Joshua W. Aid, not guilty of first degree intentional homicide as charged in count one of the information. With respect to count two, a third reading, we the jury find the defendant, Joshua W. Aid, guilty of attempted first degree intentional homicide as charged in count two of the information. And a fourth reading, we the jury find the defendant, Joshua W. Aid, not guilty of attempted first degree intentional homicide as charged in count two of the information. With respect to count three, a fifth reading, we the jury find the defendant, Joshua W. Aid, guilty of attempted first degree intentional homicide as charged in count three of the information. And a sixth reading, we the jury find the defendant, Joshua W. Aid, not guilty of attempted first degree intentional homicide as charged in count three of the information. It is for you to determine whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty of each of the offenses charged. You must make a finding as to each count of the information. Each count charged as a separate crime and you must consider each one separately. Your verdict for the crime charged in count one must not affect your verdict in any other count. This is a criminal case, not a civil case, and therefore before you may return a verdict of guilty, or which may be I, Mr. Horner. This is a criminal case, not a civil case, and therefore before the jury may return a verdict which may be legally received, the verdict must be reached unanimously. In a criminal case, all 12 jurors must agree in order to arrive at a verdict. When you arrive in the jury room, select one of your members to preside over your deliberations. The presiding juror's vote is entitled to no greater weight than the vote of any other juror. When you need to communicate with the court while you are deliberated, send a note through the bailiff signed by the presiding juror. To have a complete record of the trial, it is important that you communicate with the court only by a written note. If you have any questions, the court will talk with the attorneys before answering, and that may take some time. You should continue your deliberations while you're waiting for an answer. The court will answer the questions in writing or orally here in open court. When you have agreed upon your verdict, have it signed and dated by the person you have selected to preside. After you have reached your verdict, the presiding juror will notify the bailiff that a verdict has been reached. Everyone will return to the courtroom. The verdict will be read here in open court, and the court may ask you if you agree with the verdict. We will now swear in the bailiff. I'll get you on it. I'll get you on it. Do you swear that you will, to the utmost of your ability, keep all jurors sworn on this trial together in some private and convenient place, subject to the direction of the court until they have agreed on their verdict or are discharged by the court, and that they will not, before they render their verdict, communicate to any person the state of their deliberations or the verdicts they have agreed upon, so help you God. Thank you. Yes, I swear. Well, before we take the jury away, there's something we need to do. As you know, there are 13 of you, and 12 of you must agree. One of you has been my insurance policy. So, to make sure no one got sick. You put 13 numbers in there, and she pulls out one, and that person will not be 
deliberating with the rest of you. If you want to know what happened, you can give your contact information to Mr. Zimmerman and you can let me know.